Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Panthers franchise. Last episode, uh, we had the revelation that we weren't going to do well anymore and went 6-11 and 11 at the end of the season. Um, we need to make some major overhaul changes to the team. Uh, first things first, we're going to look at our franchising staff, though. Um, we uh, Major changes are coming. Um... Do I even... So two major changes here. Number one is uh, we're going to retire as the owner. Um, just don't have the money to do this as the owner. But um, the coach is also getting let go and fired. For us to come right in so just let me make some uh, adjustments to how I look here uh, closest coach with the beard I mean they need to give us a little better closest what I am um, and there I am ready to be the Panthers head coach the problem is right now six and eleven to start with and we need to make some major changes this offseason um, Unfortunately, that is going to involve um, one Bryce Young. Now, I am not going to just release Bryce Young outright. Um, I'm not an idiot. I know I can get value out of him, so what we'll be doing is franchise tagging him. Um, I'm going to give him a low ball offer to start with we'll franchise tag him after we get others. Uh, signed, and then we'll probably uh, end up trading him. Now, that being said, Andre Sisko, I would love to keep. I don't think it's going to happen. Malik Forbes, we are definitely keeping. Uh, Milton Williams would love to keep. So, um, Andre, I'd rather see back. We got a test free agency, apparently, though. They're both going to test free agency, so um, that's going to be what it is. Uh, franchise tagging you, Bryce Young, for sixty mil, for sixty freaking mil. Get the let's go looking for a trade here. Um, or trading away our quarterback. Getting offers here. Um, can't be extremely picky. Corey Coleman with a 2030. I gotta take that offer. I have to. I just. I'm also gonna look for a few other trades here. Um, Wusa Komara is gonna be put on the trade block here. First rounder from Detroit for next year. I'm gonna do that. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, it looks like I didn't need to cut. Um, Betonio because he retired. I think he knew what was right around the corner. Buchanan, as much as I love to keep him, 
I just don't think it's going to be worth it at this point, especially since he is costing me so much money with that fifth year option. What I'll do is add some something else to that deal. You know what? Let's do this. Let's start getting rid of some of these cornerbacks. Um, much as I would love to keep them. I just don't think it's going to benefit us in the long haul. I'm going to take the Houston Texans offer, get a left guard in the building. We are also going to get rid of Greg Newsome here. Free safety. We got Lance P. So that's nice. Apparently, Antoine Peters didn't stay a star, which sucks. Okay, so this is an interesting one. They're willing to give up Tariq Woolen, which is costing them 0.9 mil more in order to take Greg Newsom off our hands. And giving me an extra pick, so I'll take that. find a trade partner that would be amazing hmm apparently nobody wants JC Horn Chase Young. I want to see what we can get. That might be worth a look at. Okay, so we're going to take Niles Oldham here for one reason one reason only we're going to be switching to a 3-4 uh chase young's 29 he's 24 i mean it overall this is a good deal for us get out of a contract i i love chase young but time to bring in new stars um all right i want to adjust the line up and i look Mr. Jerry Young here is going to learn to play center this upcoming season. So 
so now I'll have to go find one. Defensively, we do need to change our schemes up. We are going to be... in the Buffalo Bills vertical power run and then we're going to be running Baltimore Ravens defense so with that being said I want to be in a disguise in 3-4 Make or break. Let's see what we can get in free agency. It's probably not going to be much, considering we don't really have any money at all. Uh, we have 10.9. 10.9 mil. What kind of quarterbacks we got out there? We have one. But all these guys are wanting a lot of money. We'll, we're going to make a team-friendly offer to Mr. Uh, Daryl Chamberlain here. I realize you're probably not going to want to come to us, dude, but you might not have another offer, so I would very carefully consider it if I were to do Coming in here, we're gonna not have very many choices at all, if any. I don't think we're gonna have any. No. Not with the cap space that we have. Chamberlain still has not accepted, but he's the only one that's gotten that we've offered to, so we'll skip ahead. I mean, hopefully we get him. I don't know if we will. Uh, let's look at the mock draft number four, just to see kind of where we're sitting at here. We're sitting with the sixth overall pick. Um, we'll have to look at some quarterbacks here. Hayden Ford is looking like the top prospect. Going to the Colts at six, but we'll probably end up snatching him if he's that good. So let's... We have 70% completed. Six foot five. Not better than a uh, five foot ten. It sucks how much that actually matters. It's so hard to find a Drew Brees or someone. I just want everything I need to know on Ford, and then we'll look at a few other top five prospects just in case. So, uh, private workouts. Ford. Let's take a look at this Earl Barker. Just look 
good Stacy Myers here. Cause we need, we're gonna need a free safety out of the draft as well. All right. Off season, it's time to start the draft. Let's see. Well, Hayden Ford's on the board still, but he is a one first to second round pickup. I just don't have a choice. I gotta go for him here. Um, and I hope he just stays healthy. 83 speed, hidden development. Let's see how much that matters, I guess. Second round pick here. I'm gonna look, see if there's any trade offers that make I mean, there's a first. You first rounders on the you guys are willing to trade for the first their first round pick for next year. You know what? I'm gonna take the Seahawks off of I realize I shouldn't, but I just don't. I get the feeling that this next season is not going to be great for us no matter what we do. So I'd rather have draft capital for later on, especially since we're trying to reset our team at this point. It sucks and it's not the way I want to go about it. But I just don't. I think I have it. Like, I don't feel like I have a choice at this point in time. Uh, Cody Abrams, he's going to be our guy coming out of here. 84 speed. I I'm assuming he's going to be closer to 70 overall, but I'll I'll take the consequences of that at this point. I, I'm just going to need guys to overplay what their overalls are, if that makes any sense. Especially on that defensive side here. Uh, find a free safety. I'm gonna take Demetrius McLeod here. I think. Maybe not. Giovanni Childs looks like he's going to be our guy. 90 speed, 6'2 out of Louisville. I'll take it. Alright, we need a uh, few more pieces here, DT, one of them. Um, I feel like I gotta go Garland here. He's got the best stat up top there. Great speed. Um, I don't think he's gonna be too much for us. I mean, not gonna be a great nose tackle, that's for sure. He'll be what he is. Uh, final two picks of this draft here. Um, we're going to go back to the DT area. I wish I could sort by. Alright, let's look at the right outside linebackers. Um, 
Um, I'm gonna take Larry Jeffers here. I don't. I don't think he's gonna be much. He might not even make the team. Got a got a hidden development on him. Might be worth looking into moving him around. Um, and then I'm just gonna take uh, Sheldon McCoy here. No reason. No reason. No reason except for just to take him. So, all right, we'll look at the draft recap here real quickly here, guys. Um, it's very, uh, very barren, very poor. How things have gone for us. Obviously, we were riding high for quite a while there. Uh, 73 overall, 65, 64. Yeah. Oh gosh, this is. I have a. I think I have my draft class settings. Yeah, all on normal. So. Just all about trying to get him to actually develop, I guess. So, um. Hopefully. We can get Ford's developmental trait up. He's got great weapons to throw to. Kenzie and Peters will do will do well. Hopefully. This is all hopefully, obviously. Um, yeah, we'll see what we can do here with this team. It's uh pretty bad, but. I guess it could always be worse. How? Not sure, but that's not, I guess, my problem. I mean, it is, but um, I'm going to move ahead into the preseason here really quickly for you guys. And then we're going to take a look at a few different uh, keys to uh, this season, what we're going to be looking at. So... I want to start looking at this ahead of time with you guys. So our regular season, let's map it out. We'll play the Buccaneers, obviously, to start. Play the Chiefs. Um, we'll play the Falcons here. We'll play this. We'll play the Saints. Sorry about that. Do we play the Saints right after that? I think we do. I think we kind of have to. And we'll move ahead to the Bears and then finish it up with the Cardinals. So we'll kind of mark those as all games that we should play. I'm going to um, do my training camp stuff for you guys. Uh, and then we'll... Yeah. We'll just move forward. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you guys. I don't know. Oh, I know what else we were going to look at. I got to look at the team salaries. I want to look and see what our... So our cap penalty right now is $112 million. We're look, Who are we all looking at having to re-sign next year? A lot of guys. Um, Trenton Simpson's on his last year. Jerry Young. Tariq Woolen. Wyatt Teller, who's going to get released. There's a lot of guys on there last year. And a lot that are... On their last stretch here. Okay. We'll take a look at all this. So I'll do my training camp stuff and I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. It's going to be a tough season. I can already tell it. So love you all. Peace.